If you like what we do, buy our merchandise and also support the Ghana Premier League. Available in all sizes. Don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey, welcome back, guys. This is Sahara Football. Day two, World Cup, World Cup countdown. Day two, World Cup countdown. We're continuing here. I'm out here getting sporty, looking sporty in my merch. Hope you guys <laughs> like it. Yeah. So we're continuing with the five facts. But before we get to the five facts, let's throw back to 2006. 2006 FIFA World Cup, the first time Ghana went to the World Cup, and a certain Asamajan made his mark for Ghana. He scored what was the fastest goal in that World Cup against the Czech Republic of all people. Let's look at that. Let's look back to that and get back to the five facts. See ya! Czech beats it away. It was a tricky corner kick, very close to the goalkeeper. And Czech was no, taking no chances at all. Appear. And an opening here for Ghana, who scores! Yeah, that was a great moment at Ghana at the 2006 World Cup. Unfortunately, we won't be there this year. <sighs> well, nothing can do now. We just have to move on and work to get to the next one. So now we start off today's today's talk with Brazil. Brazil are the most successful team at the World Cup. They won five out of the last 20 World Cups, and will be aiming to make it six in 21 World Cup. They have qualified for every single major tournament and we'll be looking to make it there this year to the top. You know, we all know what happened last year with Germany. They were not able to make it. Germany thrashed them in the semi-final 7-1, which I don't think any Brazilian will like remembering. They thrashed them 7-1 and this year they look solid, they look composed. With Neymar back after a three-month injury, Dani Alves were unfortunately missing the World Cup for Brazil. So for the Brazilians, it's, it looks like they are going to go far in the tournament. Well, let's hope to let's hope to, to make that to let's hope that they make it to the finals of the World Cup because they are an exciting, entertaining team to watch. So now let's go on to Germany. If Germany are going to win or retain their title, they would be hoping to break this jinx for the last two winners of the World Cup, Spain and Italy. Spain and Italy have been knocked out right after winning the World Cup. And uh, Germany, I don't think, will fall prey to such an, something like that, but hey, it's football. Anything is possible. So Germany will need to break that jinx if they are to win the World Cup for themselves or retain the World Cup. Yeah. So Germany have to break that jinx off. The team that has won the World Cup in the last two years and the last two occasions has failed to make it past the group stages. What that happened to Mr. Tozo, Thomas Muller and Go? Oh, I, I, I highly doubt it. But hey, we are here to record the news and let you know how it goes. So now we go to Italy. Italy will not go to the World Cup. They are not making it to the World Cup because they lost their qualification spot to Sweden in a two-legged playoff. They lost 1-0 to Sweden in a two-legged playoff. And, well, unfortunately, Buffon won't have the end of his career he wanted. He has won the Scudetto and Copa Italia with Juventus. But the Champions League quarter-final, he failed to make it and country, under controversial circumstances, though. But Buffon won't be there. He won't be there for the World Cup because they failed to beat Sweden over two legs. They lost one down to Sweden and well he was in tears all over at that time. He was so much in tears. He couldn't hold himself and he apologized to the whole Italian nation for failing to make the World Cup since 1958. 
they are the only world champions that are not in Russia. Wow, that's that's something. So to Portugal and Cristiano Ronaldo, Portugal will be hoping. Portugal will be hoping to make it to become the fourth team actually to win the Euros and the World Cup simultaneously. They won Euro 2016 when their odds were actually stacked against them. Portugal were not supposed to win that tournament actually. They were odds on not favorites. Seriously. But <laughs> an unlikely own in Edison found a goal in the ninth in extra time. Two minutes in extra time and well they were found they found themselves lifting the trophy. Cristiano Ronaldo was was injured. But his moral support from the bench helped his team to win it. Can he repeat that? Can Portugal repeat that? for the World Cup. Hmm. Many would beg to differ. Actually, it's his last World Cup. So, well, let's see. Now to Mexico. Mexico have been the only team to qualify the most times. They've qualified for the World Cup 16 out of 20, 20 World Cups. 16 out of 20 World Cups. And have not won it. They are qualified most, but have not won it. This year, I don't think that will change. They are not going to win it. They are not favorites to win it. With Germany, Brazil, and Cole being the top favorites, Italy won't, uh, Mexico won't make it. So the, they'll, they'll still go on and not make it. Well, 16 times they have been to the World Cup and not made it that far. Yeah. So that's it for today. Don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell.